Welcome to God's View. We are so glad you joined us today. Make sure you call some friends because, you know, especially your women friends, because we have a very special guest that's going to be talking about women's roles and how they're called alongside men. But for those of you who are watching the program, please remember as we're going through the program to call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen. I mean, we are seeing miraculous things on those phone lines, and God is doing great things, and we truly, the girls, and I love to agree with you, and we love your responses and your comments as you say that we're real and you feel the love and that God is doing things in your life. Boy, we're just so blessed. We're so thankful that this show is doing that. I mean, that's, that's more than what we could even ask for. And that what God is changing your life and encouraging you and taking out fear. And I mean, there's been so many testimonies. It's just amazing to Amen. me. And, you know, we just want to pinch ourselves and say, yeah. okay, wake up. Because God has done such miraculous things. Amen. So, with that, I want to introduce us to the new viewers. You new viewers, it is so, we are so glad you joined us today. Yes. I am Charlene Back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts. This is Jennifer Griffin. This is Marianne Peluso. We have Lana Garner next to me. And we are your God's View host. And right here next to Lana is our uh, guest. And we are going to introduce her in a minute, but I want to tell you a little bit about her. Reverend uh, Pastor. Uh, Susan Schultz, uh, oh my gosh, she's done a little bit of everything. She evangelizes, she travels the world, you can call her. Her information will be uh, at the bottom of the screen periodically when we're going through the program. But she's a dean of a Christian college, uh, slash everything. I mean, great teacher of the Word of God, studies hours and hours. My spiritual mentor, she's my spiritual mom. Uh, and so I'm very proud to have her on the show today, very blessed, and the girls and I want you to help us welcome yeah. our very special guest, Pastor, yeah. Reverend, Evangelist, yeah. Dean, Susan Schultz. Yeah. My gosh, what yeah. up, Thank Will? You. What up? I mean, can you imagine all those titles? And she deserves every one of them. <laughs> she comes alongside everyone, you guys. So, Susan, we're going to talk about, number one, I want you to know that this woman, has served the Lord and just helps people. Mm -hmm. She has had three homes burned down to the ground. Mm -hmm. Three of them and then one lost with tornado and still standing through it all, preaching the gospel and thankful that her whole family got out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, wouldn't you by then think, oh my gosh, four homes totally destroyed and yet God is doing great and mighty things with Susan Schultz, Pastor Susan Schultz. So, Susan, you were going to talk about kind of like the powerful positions women really hold. But if you want, you just go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself if you want, okay. or kids or whatever, and you just let it roll and we'll jump in when we need. <laughs> well, um, I've been with the Lord for well over 30 years. We won't mm. go any further than 30 years, but 30 plus <laughs> years. <laughs> and uh, I have gone through some storms, like you said, the fires, mm. the tornadoes. We had a total financial wipeout. And even just coming on getting prepared to come on to this show uh my little doggy got killed Aww. so the enemy yes. has yes. doesn't yes. like the message yes. that we are bringing forth yes but the word says many are the affliction of the righteous but he delivers us out of them <laughs> all. Amen. And amen sister i you know things mm -hmm. are things the re the replaceable lives are not and that's what the gospel is all about is bringing forth life into people to change their lives Yes, I lost mm -hmm. everything several times over. That's why a house is not a big thing for me, as it is for most women, wow. I suppose. But lives are. That's right. Lives uh -huh. change for the mm -hmm. glory of the King, the God, for, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have wow. a powerful message that will cause people to be healed, made whole, be set free, be delivered. But one of the things is we've got to get the message out. That is our call. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of going a different way than I thought it was. But in the 1980s, 
the Lord spoke to me the words, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And I mm. thought for myself that meant going out, sharing the word, teaching. And then he brought that back recently, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And he began to show me different things about how tradition has held back the word of God. Mm -hmm. Tradition has held back mm -hmm. over half of the church. Mm -hmm. Tradition mm -hmm. has lied and said that we can't walk side by side, that this person has to be in control of the other person. And that's not what God wanted. Mm -hmm. In Genesis 1, has said God made us in His image, male and female. We're to walk side by side. That's right. Mm -hmm. there, wow. Nobody in this world should ever be dominated by another human being. That's awesome. And that's where we need to link arms yeah. with the men, with the women, with fellow Christians to get this word out. Yeah, Amen. we're going to be the aristocrats of heaven. Amen. There's Why not? There's not going to be any <laughs> slaves or, or well, anything not, else. Female we're, or male. I mean, either, yeah. you know. In this God's sense. not a gender. Yeah. And we're, God is a spirit. So yeah. are we. Mm -hmm. And we were made to rule, weren't we? We were. Mm -hmm. All I, of us. Right. I, I think of Esther. Uh, I believe it's chapter 9, if I remember right. But it's somewhere in that ballpark where she was given full authority. Mm. And that's an Old Testament lady. Right. Jesus came, and he came to set us free. Yes. If she can rule with full authority in the Old Testament, so did Deborah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. then how much more should we not be walking in the full authority that God has invested in his ladies? That's right. We're daughters of the king. Mm -hmm. What are we doing being quote, what the world calls submissive, mm -hmm. and not sharing what God has put within us. Yeah, so on people, daughters. yes, on people then, sorry. On, uh, go ahead. On women, Susan, that are married and have been taught that tradition, have taught that you just walk under that husband, not alongside and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you say to them? I mean, what, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, that was great what you just said, but uh, many of them are so under that, right. that bondage that they're thinking, oh, what she's saying is crazy, but it's not. In the beginning, yes. God told Eve that she would be a helpmate. Helpmate, yes, yes. Not dominate. And when you look at that, that's a good point. When you look at that word helpmate, number one, the word helpmate is not in the Hebrew. Mm. In fact, help is azer, E-Z-E-R, and 14, 13 or 14 times it relates to God. God is our help. Yeah. So that is not a putting down. And then the meet part means corresponding to, face to face, equal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're called to. Genesis 1 and 2 is how God wanted the world to be. And you see from Genesis 3 on, everything is seen through the eyes of fallen mankind. Mm -hmm. God is wanting us to give back to his yes. original intention. I love it. It's yeah. seen through fallen man. That's yeah. so well put. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and as far as the couple like that, it takes time because mm -hmm. we've been so traditionalized. And even the people in the church, and I'll be honest with you, I have more people come against me for being a woman minister mm -hmm. by yeah. women than men wow. because they don't want to take the responsibility. They don't want to stand up. It's easy yeah. to let somebody else to make the decision. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's but true. one person asked me, well, when there's a major decision, somebody has to make a decision. What do you do? Very simple. You go and pray. And then the two of you come back and you all have the same. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You yes. know, because yes. Jesus is ahead. Go ahead. And didn't God say it, it's not good that man be alone? Right. He was not complete. Not that God made a mistake. No. But there was a completeness that Eve brought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, women have intuition. Women have insight. We mm -hmm. have that sense <laughs> inside mm -hmm. where men operate. They yeah. shoot from the head and we shoot from the heart. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for men that have a problem receiving or, um, or accepting the we're equal. I mean, they are the head, but mm -hmm. uh, value, God sees us as a completer, not beneath, right? Right. Yeah. right. right. And even when God made Eve from <clears throat> Adam's side, from his ribs, so she could be standing at his side in, in triumph That's and in good. victory, yeah. rather yeah. than under his foot or, or wherever. Yes. Right. So that, right. that's a revel. I mean, it's just a, a set free message because yeah. women have been under that bondage right. for so long. So what else? And we're 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 not going to rise up and you exactly. know one of the things that 
uh, people, when you start bringing forth this message, they immediately think, well, she's trying to point, bring forth women's liberation. No. 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 We, what we are doing is trying to get the women to raise up to position beside men that they belong, that That's God right. created yeah. them to. That's where wholeness is. That's Does good. God want us to sit on our brains? No. 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 He gave us brains. He gave us gifts. He gave us callings for a reason. And they're to be used. That's what's so beautiful about Jesus. Yes, he raises <laughs> women up. Just jump in there. You know, it's not like these other religions where, where women are held right. down. We're brought up. Right. And you think of all the women in the New Testament, mm -hmm. Lydia. Oh, yeah. And the four, what was it, the four daughters of Philip, mm -hmm. who were all prophetesses. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Amen. And, and a, lot of, a lot of people will take um, what Paul has said. You have some some insight on that what Paul said about women and I know it was a cultural mm -hmm. time and I think a lot of churches and men and places have taken mm -hmm. what he mm -hmm. said and they run with that rather mm -hmm. than you know knowing the whole cultural background mm -hmm. behind that so most of the time those are answers to questions it's like a letter how are you and you write back well I've been busy doing this and this mm -hmm. so it's a response to a you question that was question. asked you just hear and, the answer. right and so that's what they take it's like, mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm trying to think, women be silent in the yeah. church. Mm -hmm. That isn't silent, that's quietness. That's learning in meekness. That means quit interrupting me while I'm trying to teach mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And then it talks about a, a woman, a certain woman. So there was a woman, yeah. not the whole group of women, a woman that was creating a problem. And that's what they were addressing. Yeah. Well, they used to do that. But I think it's all. important. Mm -hmm. The to women would the sit and yell to their husbands, hey, and guess the husband a question. Because they sat on and opposite sides of the church. Women will be quiet in the church. And forget mm -hmm. about it. Jews and Italians, hey, don't forget the Jews <laughs> and back on your way home. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know, so they had to be quiet. <laughs> Right? Yeah. That's the context. Yeah. Yeah, the context. Right. A lot of people it's use awesome. that. I mean, I'm just saying a lot of oh, yeah. churches use oh, yeah. that as you can't do this and you can't do that. And women need to, need you know, to be in their place. To, but mm -hmm. really, God has created us each for right. a place. And right. it's beyond where That's man says. <laughs> you, know, you know, Captain Coleman said, don't fault me. Mm -hmm. There was a man somewhere that didn't answer the call. Mm. Well, that's interesting too, but I believe that we're all called. We're yeah. all called. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. I understand. But I yeah, understand. I understand the call. So yeah. go ahead, yeah. Susan. We're taking all your time. Oh, go no, for it. No, no. I love it. But I mean, I want to hear some more yeah. what you got to say. Well, you know, there's a scripture in Peter that a lot of people will use too uh, about a woman staying there. And they're saying that we're supposed to be quiet because of that and all that. When you look at that, the women are already in rebellion because they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord. Mm. And this was against the men's policy. You also look at that passage. This was just before Nero. Mm. And there was terrible persecution happening. Mm. So this was kind of a, a protection as well. Uh, get your men involved. And the only way you're going to get, you're not going to get your men involved if you shove your ping, finger down their throat. Right. Mm. But if they'll mm -hmm. see the love of God yeah. in you. Mm -hmm. I, I've got a wonderful husband. He works beside me. Mm -hmm. He's never tried to dominate me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I'm just grateful to God That's that I see a man. lot of. Yeah, because yeah. your call, you needed that. Just like my call, mm -hmm. I needed the husband mm -hmm. I have, and he's a deer, so mm -hmm. not with four legs either. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots them. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. And, uh, yeah, there's so much. I was trying to think. Oh, in Genesis 3.15, I wrote this down, where the word says, Now put enmity between you and the woman. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that word enmity, it is a deep-rooted hatred that's irreconcilable hostility. And that's what the devil has towards us. So mm -hmm. automatically, when we're born as women, we have a yes. target on our back. Yeah. We're Whoa. automatically hated. Mm -hmm. and I am. Right. We're not too crazy about him either. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, you know, his whole goal is to keep us in bondage, to yeah. keep us quiet. And he uses insecure mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, a lot of men are insecure good. and they don't know who they are in Christ. So they've got to keep mm -hmm. their wife or their whoever. Somebody, right. They've got to keep or them down. A real or, man will mm -hmm. allow a woman to blossom. Yes, right. just to fly like a butterfly. <laughs> And if you notice, Jesus always lifted up woman. He's a real man. He yeah. did. He did. Yeah. I mean, the woman caught in adultery. Yes. She should have been stoned to death, yes. according to them, even though the man was off doing his own thing mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. 
but he lifted her up. He Plus, her. she was a great evangelist. Oh yeah, and she she went around telling people that that she had met a man that uh, told me everything about myself, yeah. and so she brought the whole neighborhood in. And she, mm -hmm. That's right. Woman, what one of my favorite. Woman at the yeah, I was yeah. woman. Yeah. She's that's my favorite. Oh, because <laughs> I believe. There's nowhere in any of the commentaries or any of that <coughs> that put her as a prostitute. Yes. Some that's, that's just a true. tradition of man. So when you look that she's had five husbands, that tells me she's been rejected and kicked out yes. of a house five times and forced to be on her own. And mm. probably the last man she was with may have been her father. Or it's just some guy that had a good heart. Mm -hmm. And yet she was the first one that Jesus said, I am the Messiah to. Mm -hmm. And who's the first person with the message that Jesus Christ was Mary resurrected? Mary the Gardener, <laughs> my favorite, Mary Magdalene. You know, yes. Yeah. So God is showing. Yes. He, he is really. showing that He wants women to rise mm -hmm. up yeah. to their position. Yes. Yep. To walk alongside the disciples, to walk alongside the apostles, to walk alongside one another, and even answer the fivefold callings. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they've been told so long that that's wrong, especially through the time the pulpit ministry. I mean, yeah. through the churches they go to, sad to mm -hmm. say, because there has been a lot. It's just been taught. And so now they're all, there's a lot of women in bondage out there. Now, there's a lot of yes. us set free that are doing what God called right. us to do. And we're traveling yeah. the world. And we're coming on TV. And mm -hmm. you, know, you have the Joyce Myers and the, oh, my, we can go on and on and on. That right. God has just totally raised up. Well, look at you, how he's raised you up. And it's just awesome. It's yeah. just awesome that there are those that are free. And we're encouraging you yeah. today. Be free. Be free. It, listen to what Susan said, you know. And Susan, why don't you pray for them? Why don't oh, you yes. pray for them? You know, that's your camera right over here. And <laughs> just, just look in that camera and pray for them. Father, we just thank you that your word Gosh. is tearing down walls and causing mm -hmm. people to hear your word, to hear you, to hear what you desire to do in their hearts. Father God, there's so many that feel like a blob under a blood covering because of what they've been told for so many years. And I ask, Father God, that today that that cover be taken off of them and that they can rise up from that fallen position, that bent over position like the woman uh, that was bent over and so they can stand tall and be all that you created them to be that you can cause them to hear and see and do the mighty things that you've anointed to them to do that you've empowered them to do and that father god the men will see the anointing they will see the call of jesus upon their lives and will walk side by side with them that father will link arms and we'll walk out together, right. bringing victory throughout the entire yes, world. Lord. Father God, I just believe that this is your message for the hour. Yes. This is your message to bring people to be free, to be all that you created them originally in Genesis 1 to be, in your image, to be set free, to be delivered. And we thank you, Father God, that you've heard our prayers. And even now, right now, women and even men are being set yes. free. Because, yes. Father, there's been some men yes. forced to be in positions mm -hmm. that they don't have the anointing for, they don't have the call mm -hmm. for, but been told that they've had to fulfill because they're men. Mm -hmm. Father, we break mm -hmm. them loose yes. of that bondage yes. as well. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That was good. That was good. Thank you, Lord. That was so great that God's given you that revelation. Oh, amen. It really is a real issue this hour. And it's an issue, you know, we know there's there's extremes. We know oh, that yeah. there's some women that dominate. You know, my yeah, husband mm -hmm. always said it was funny because when people would, would, you know, maybe call us in or, or say something and they'd say, well, you dominate your husband. And he'd go, boy, they just have no sense to do honey. Because <laughs> he runs this house. He says, just because you're outgoing and I stay in the back, they feel like you're like this dominator. But, yeah. you know, so there's, there, well, you know. What would you do without your husband? Oh, my gosh, I wouldn't do nothing. And believe right. me, he can put me in my place in a heartbeat. I, yeah. You don't know this little <laughs> <Yeah>. vicious <laughs> <laughs> He's a darling, but I need God knew what I needed. That's and just because I'm outgoing and I'm in front don't mean that I'm the dominator yeah, of, right. of my home. It mm -hmm. just just isn't. And so, but uh, we do walk alongside because yeah. he does allow me, just what you're saying, he allows me to preach. He allows me. Now, if he don't want to go to Japan or he don't want to go to Africa or something, he say, you go, but I don't want to go there. He's you a know, secure so, man. Yeah, he's, he's secure. very secure. He doesn't, he knows he doesn't have to worry. We're going to be together 44 years yeah. this August 2nd. Oh, amen. He knows he does mm -hmm. not have to worry about, yeah. you know. Yeah. Any of any anything, he just lets me be. Free. Deborah's husband was so secure that she was able to rule yeah. a nation. Yeah, wow. yeah wow. that's really cool. Yes. Being a judge and everything. Yeah. Yes, 
and we the tradition like I said needs to be broke there's a story where Jesus has been doing deliverance of this uh, person he goes on to tell how um, if the house isn't cleaned how there can be worse mm -hmm. and in the midst of all this he's done this deliverance he's done this teaching a woman yells out Blessed are the breasts that you suck from. Mm -hmm. And Jesus immediately Charming said, No, how blessed is the person who hears and does my word. Yes. So he was standing, breaking a tradition that said that women were nothing more than baby makers. Mm -hmm. That's good. He was Amen. setting them free. And that helps a single woman. That helps a lady who can't have children naturally. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, Susan, didn't you say one time, too, when, when uh, a long time ago, there were the, the uh, one that wept and washed Jesus' feet with her hair. That It was a tradition back then. They weren't supposed to put their hair down. And no. she, okay, yeah, tell us that. Yeah, when they had their hair up, mm -hmm. but when you took the hair down, was a sign of that you were willing to go and lay with the men. Submission. Yeah. Submission, uh, yeah. Submission, prostitution, whatever. And so th saying that said that I'm giving you my all, including this part of me. Was Every it area. Was it, it was yes. an intimate yeah. act. It was a very rose intimate. The eyebrows, huh? Uh -huh. That's probably what rose the eyebrows of everybody there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. right, was, and mm -hmm. her yeah. actually coming in there. I mean, yeah. this was the Pharisees yeah. and all these big shots. Mm -hmm. But she loved Jesus more than what worrying about what people did. thought. Wow. That's, good. Wow. That's so good. I love you that. I love that story. Audience yeah. one, that is good, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's amazing how mm -hmm. over and over... I mean, look at Junia. She was an apostle. Mm -hmm. They tried to change her name in many of the Bibles in the last few hundred years. Mm -hmm. But she was an apostle. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she made a difference. And in, in uh, Yodia and mm -hmm. Syntyche, oh, yeah. they said that, that these women uh, had the same mm -hmm. mind in the Lord as Paul and were co-laborers with mm -hmm. him. Wow. Amen. Amen. Wow. I think Paul really, per, you know, suffered a lot just because of all the persecution. You know, yeah. a lot of times we, well, and God, didn't God tell him, you're going to suffer for yeah, me. You're really going to suffer for me. So, you know, it could have been like the, you know, just because he'd done that, I don't know. So I think the Lord really has a soft heart for women mm -hmm. because look at the yeah. cross. Mm -hmm. All the men split except for John, the beloved. Right. But there was Mary, Mary, yeah. they're all Marys there. And mm -hmm. it yeah. had to touch him that yes, women are touched women. in a way where maybe mm -hmm. men aren't. And I just think he leans towards that soft Oh, and I think he was a mama's boy. <laughs> I think it was a mama's boy. <laughs> but look how many were followed him. You know, it yeah. wasn't just the disciples with Jesus. Right. There was all kinds of women. women. Yes. That followed. Women. Yes. And they were doing whatever they needed to do. Yeah. You yeah. Know, that's so. right. Wow. And that's, that's, good that's my heart. That's what God is telling me to do mm -hmm. right now, is to help women get raised up. That's good. Yes. To see that they're not insignificant, that they are of great value, that God created them with substance, mm -hmm. and yes. that they have a voice that needs to be heard. Mm -hmm. And if somebody thinks that they shouldn't be, then just simply say, go talk to Jesus and continue yeah. speaking. Yes, yeah. that's good. Go talk to Jesus. I mean, look in the Word. It's just mm -hmm. all over there. You know, you had given me a book, Why Not Women. I think every pastor ought to read that book. Mm -hmm. Because that really really puts everything mm -hmm. to rest the sacred cows, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Susan Hyatt, I'm, I'm on her advisory board, God's Word to Women, and I'm also on the board for Northern Colorado Christians for Biblical Equality, but she has a book called um, Ten Things Jesus Taught About Women. It's just a little pamphlet, mm -hmm. but it is just dynamite mm -hmm. that shows how Jesus really set women free. Mm -hmm. You gave me that right. book, and I forgot to read it. Where and when it? a man <laughs> finds a wife, he finds a good thing. That's right. And we we fulfill the areas in men's lives where where I know they men's brains think vertically, women's bra brains think horizontally, and and so we fulfill one another in mm -hmm. areas where, where we're weak. Men are single-minded, women are multi-tasked. Makes a cross, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Makes a That's cross. Right. Does. Yes, and we all meet at that cross and we're equal. That's a good, that's a good point. I mean, that's awesome. And it's powerful when you see, I believe, a husband and wife working together. Amen. Because so much of the time we've seen mm -hmm. the man alone mm -hmm. and 
you know, I relate with the husband and wife mm -hmm. working together. Right. I think that's mm -hmm. what, yes. you know, God created us, like you said, to be side by side. Oh, and really? so, you know, whether one's more the out spoken person yeah. but yeah. or not or you can both be you know work mm -hmm. together but i think god's cr uh, raising up more people yeah. to work together rather than just be dominated by a man mm -hmm. you know yeah and the, and the task because there's really it's balance fulfilled. there's balance with that there's mm -hmm. a balance the, with balance. the husband and yes. wife working together but who's your mm -hmm. best friend on earth mm -hmm. your husband your mm -hmm. husband mm -hmm. And if you, you don't have a husband, right. I'm sure that you have a best friend that will help balance you out. Yeah, yeah another we person need that. that yes, walks we do. Yeah, with you. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, everybody does. And, I, and yeah. I believe that the reason why it's taken me this long to even begin, because I've just been sharing this message the last two or three years, is because I had to walk it myself. Yeah. And others had to see that it, that it is yeah. God's Word. It is truth. I've had to do uh -huh. the study. I've had to prepare. I've had to meet some of these women in here mm -hmm. personally. Yeah. Because if you don't wow. get to know the characters in the Bible, you, you don't always understand yeah. where they're coming from. Wow, with that, that's perfect. Oh, right. Susan, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. That was a powerful Susan, program. Yeah, you. If, you, if you just tuned in and you didn't get uh, uh, what we were talking about today, you have got to get this DVD. You can go to the website at the bottom of the screen and order it. I mean, nine bucks for a DVD includes shipping and handling, what? or $6 for a CD includes shipping and handling. I mean, that's unheard of, really. Everybody sells them for $15, $20, $30. You know, we just want it out, and I'll tell you, you've got to go get that. And then um, also go to our droids, go to the iPhone, watch our shows on there. You can watch them at the website. You can watch them on Facebook. Go to our Facebook. We all have them. Friend us. We'd love to be your, your friend, and you can hear about us there but most importantly this is what I want you to hear about today oh my gosh it's Jesus it's why we're sitting up here he died yes. for us he set our lives free yes. and just say Jesus come into my heart I, forgive me of my sin I believe you're the son of God I believe you died for me I believe you're coming back and all the word says is that all you got to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is the son of the living God Come and you already. will be saved. You will be born Amen. again. And call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to pray with you. We'd love to hear if you were born again. We would love to hear that. 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. And I, it never ceases to amaze me. I, I answer those prayer lines and the, the, the mighty things that go on them and the things that God does in your lives. And it just is such a blessing to agree with you. It really, really is. Yeah. You know, we love you. But he loves you more. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. And listen, it's only goodbye for today. But you tune in next week and or wherever. You could tune in every day on the website. But we will see you again the next program. And remember, remember, God loves you. He really, really does. It's not just that he loves you. He don't want to see you go to hell. Receive him today. Mm -hmm. We love you. Goodbye. It's only over and over again. As the Holy Spirit ministers to your heart by ordering today's program on DVD or CD. DVD $9, CD $7, both include shipping and handling. Order your copy today at www.GodsViewTVShows.com. Must specify topic of show when ordering. Remember, must specify topic of show when 